Hi, in this episode I'd like to talk about my aunt and godmother Luba Cutney. Um, Luba Cutney apparently is five, five to six years older than my mother. She was born in Austria, Germany. Um, at the time my grandparents were in a misplaced persons camp. Um, awaiting resettlement in another country um, basically they were in a position where they could not go back to where um, they came from so basically they were um, in this camp waiting resettlement to another country that country happened to be Australia and um, it was at that point that my aunt Luba was born. Um, my mum was born in uh, January of um, October of 1950. Um, on her, uh, she was born in Woodside, Austria. Uh, she was born in Woodside, Australia. Sorry, my grandparents were um, uh, resettled when they came to Australia. They were were resettled at um, Inverbracky, what we know as Inverbracky. Um, it was used for illegal refugees recently, but back then it was used to uh, for settlement to rehome um, migrants who had just been brought into this country who were invited to come to work um so basically um my mum was born in 1950 uh luba was born about five years before that um as soon as my mum was born it was obvious she had things that were terribly wrong with her it was quite obvious she was a special needs baby um she was um, eight weeks old when she was put in the hospital. Um, I'm not clear on what the actual diagnosis was, but whatever it was, it was big because she was not able to breathe by herself or anything like that. She was really not expected to live. Um, it would not surprise me if she was actually permanently injured by that incident. Um, but anyway, as my, my mother's development grew, it was quite obvious that she would need extra special attention. It was quite obvious that she needed more than Luba did being a normal child. Luba absolutely hated and resented that. Um, and wanted her mother all to herself she hated the fact that her sister was a special needs child she hated the fact that her sister needed extra special treatment and attention that she thought was rightfully hers um and she resented her sister because of that um, her sister was in turn was treated very much like a second class citizen um, Luba was given all the advantages as a child because not only because she was able bodied but because she was basically um, spoilt and tantrumed until she got whatever she wanted um my mum was just not like that my mum because of her disabilities was a very passive um was a very passive withdrawn child very unsocialized and basically did not have any of the things that luba wanted did not have any of the opportunities that luba got did not 
get any of the allowances that Luba got, yet Luba still wanted more, 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 more. Um, Luba was one of those kids, nothing was ever good enough for her. Um, you gave her an inch, she would try and take a mile. One of those child, one of those kids, she would, um... hold it over her sister and remind her sister every single day that her, that her sister was different. Um, and as they grew older, the sibling rivalry just got worse. Um, my mum wanted to do all the things that Luba was doing. My mum wanted to go out with her friends. My mum wanted to have a boyfriend too. My mum wanted to get a job and work. Um, my mum wanted to have kids, you know, and do things like any other normal girl wants. And Luba would basically lord it over her that she couldn't have any of those things because she was different. Anyway, so... Um, my mum basically had the opportunity to marry a guy from Borough called John. Um, whether it was malicious or not, Luba deliberately ruined that relationship. Um, my mother also had a relationship with a Scottish gent by the name of Iron Blakeby. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> they were together for a while, he wanted to marry her, he wanted to take her back to Scotland when he returned, um, Luba basically went and interfered and destroyed that relationship too, and he basically returned to Scotland, but without my mum, um, after my mum divorced, she was with um, an Italian gentleman that she met in Hillcrest Hospital. Um, they had planned to marry, they had planned to take custody of me, basically raise me, have more kids, live happily ever after, you know, the whole bullshit that all girls want. Um, basically, Luba went and forbade her to have any further contact with this gentleman and I remember when my mum was discharged from Milgrass Hospital um, I was living with them at the time and this guy would ring sometimes 10 times a day asking f to speak to her and Luba would basically either hang up on him or pressure Olga into telling him that she no longer wanted to speak to him and that she no longer wanted to be with him anymore um, and this is how things went um, when Luba when my mum got divorced Luba got married to Paul and they had two kids the sibling rivalry basically went and well, Luba tried to project it onto me and her kids. The only difference is I refused to play ball with her. I wouldn't do it. But, um, anyway, Luba would always tell me that she hated me. Um, my mum tells me that Luba had, a, Luba had it in for me ever since I was four. But, um, uh, my mum told me that Luba had hated me ever since I was four. Luba used to tell me things when I was a kid like, oh, I ruined her career. She'd tell me stuff like that. She'd tell me stuff like she hated me. Um, she told me stuff like I was short. She told me I was fat. She told me I was ugly. And, you know, this would be like whenever she would come around like she lived in the next street so she was around every day and she would just basically call me these names and everything and um, it just grew to a point where the feeling was basically mutual that I didn't like her either um, and basically it came to a point where she 
came to a point where the time came that I actually shared a primary school teacher with one of Luba's relatives from Poolside, the family, and she was able to facilitate the removal of me from my home. Um, and yeah even and um, when I left my husband um, when I left my ex-husband she stole money and jewelry off me um, and I haven't spoken to Luba since my grandfather's funeral um, three, four years ago, um, Luba does stalk me, Luba does follow me around, um, I think that she does this mainly because she knows that it gets a rise out of me, but mainly because she knows the type of person I am, she knows that I guard my privacy very, very much, and she just gets her jollies out of ruining my peace of mind, um, but it is with great joy that I have found out a couple of weeks ago that she is selling her house at 24 Anthony Road. So hopefully she'll be moving far, far away from me. Okay, thank you. Bye.